Hello guys, this is me Pricey and today I'm here with the third episode of the Zipcrowd serverless play. And like promised last episode, I wanna kill Wither first. Well actually two since I was farming a bit more and I got six skulls so far. And well here you can see the killing device. So I just got a normal cobblestone generator facing downwards, hooked up to a clock so Whenever this block, see a block here is broken. Oh, wait, no. Let me show it you with one block da more down. Uh, when I could reach it from here. And now I got a ghost block. Great. Well, so when you see, you see this thing, as soon as there is a new cobblestone, it regenerates. And with that, I want to kill the wither. And this should be fast enough to do the job for us. At least I hope so. If not, I'm, well, a bit screwed, I'd say. But, well, I got my armor. It's almost broken, though. Well, halfway broken. And the sharpness five, five sword, I got it in my ender chest. And, I'm oh, I wanted to place that thing up there. Great job. Okay, where is the entrance again? I just stuck one, didn't I? Oh yeah, there it is. I just don't want to end up putting myself into the lava. That would be a bit bad. Anyways, so, ender chest. Here are my six skulls. Well, actually, let me first take three and the sharpness five sword. I'm gonna take that one for now. Yeah. Okay. So. That's that thing, and the last two soul sand. And, well, let's go. Okay, there we are. Got some more s slow sand, or soul sand, however you wanna <laughs> call it. So, and what, I, what I'm doing here is pressing one obsidian instead of that cobblestone there, so the explosion when the wither spawns itself doesn't do too much damage to this thing, so he can't escape. Well, hopefully. Okay, should be running. Wait, actually, let's try without. If it generates again. Yeah, it does. Okay. Oh. And that thing was misplaced. Yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty fast generator. Okay. And now I'm gonna place them and, well, I have to rush. And get away down there and all that, so... Let's do this. Is this still in range? Yeah, it is. Awesome. Okay, and I gotta... Wait, wait. Where is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, there we... There it is. No. Well, let's say like this. I'm looking for... A Oh, oh yeah, there, there. Oh, stupid me. Sorry. And that's the thing that shouldn't have happened. Okay, I'm gonna kill him now with my hand. Well, I need to... But this shouldn't be that bad. Okay, I'm regenerating health again, so that should, shouldn't be too bad. And I guess, well, this time I will hopefully not fail as much as the first kill. And, well, hopefully my armor survives a second incident like this. Okay, there we go. That is prepared again. Let's quickly collect some of that stuff. And we're ready for second fight. This time I have to make sure that I'm my health bar is full. Well, not my health bar, my hunger bar. Because that was some sort of fail. Oh, and we should close that thing here off again. Well, actually, I can escape there. Okay. And let's go. 
Oh no. And it's there. Back there. Okay, this time it should work better. And I'm just gonna speed this up. Well, seems like it didn't work. Let's get out of there and quickly kill him before he generates too much health. Oh no, he escaped. That's gonna be bad. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna die. Oh, and I died. Dang it. Okay, I got a plan. So what I want to do is now basically waste some of the diamonds I mined and make a diamond armor with the protection four books I got. So I have to go to my place and I don't need to care about him for the moment because he's um, out of the loaded chunks anyways. So that's something good. And I got three deaths now. First one was because of an enderman in a um, how to say yeah in the enderman farm wasn't pre damaged. Second death was a bit buggy. I was farming and uh, wither skeleton skulls, and I locked out. But well, <laughs> he killed me, and I got my stuff. Uh, I doubled my stuff for some reason. Uh, not doubled. I uh, duplicated it. And that pick is hopefully not gone. My efficiency five one. <laughs> that would suck a lot. Yeah, and I wanted to continue here down down here. But for now, I need to get that book, which is not down there, but the other one. Oh god, I'm failing so much. I don't know, it's always just when I'm recording, normally it's okay. And oh, I'm a bit surprised that it didn't work, because in test world, it did work just fine. So I got these books now and I'm gonna go enchant something and we'll see it right again when I'm done with that. Okay, so this time I'm better prepared than last time. Should have already done this last time but except for the armor. So I got a regen potion, some instant health potions, flash ones of course, then some boots and decent armor I'd say. And an almost broken bow. It has seven uses left so I guess this thing will not stay there for the wall fight, but I don't care about this actually. I just want to get that never star and the stuff I had there. Well, this is it already. Okay, let me drink this potion. Awesome! I got some of my stuff back. Okay, this is not too bad now. <laughs> yeah. Nothing special. If I would have gotten a regen potion before, this would have been so easy. But I guess I've learned out of my mistakes. And this will hopefully not happen again. Okay, and now I will just go out and look at the surface. If there is one, so. 
let's look there. Well, it seems like back there is something. Oh, and a small island. Awesome. Oh, that was probably a bit too far. Oh, no, it wasn't. Wait. Oh, right, I was already here once without you because I glitched through. No, I, I, I didn't glitch through. I just, when I was covering up the ceiling because of the water leaking into my stronghold, I came up out here. And back there we have a snow island. Well, not island, maybe it's a complete continent, but still snow biome. That can be pretty helpful for getting ice. So the first beacon I want it to be well what do I want it to be? At first I wanted to Well realize that there are iron blocks in a pyramid. I want it to be region and probably resistance. No, region and resistance. Okay. And let's pay it a bit. See, should work. Region and resistance. Awesome. And the second one Guess what? Okay. The second one is just haste too. How awesome is that? Okay guys, I'm back and I made a decision what to do for the rest of the episode. And since we just set up the haste beacons, I can now easily mine out big rooms. And that's what I want to do now. I want to start and mine out the silver fish storage block rooms or as I might call them soonish silver storage I don't know yet maybe you have a su suggestion for any names or even for designs later on maybe next episode or so I'm gonna start with them but for this episode I'm just gonna do the redstone stuff on there and of course digging out after the wither fail here I had there before so I actually want to get something going now and I already started some me measuring out where I want to place them and now I guess I'll start mining so see you in a moment. Okay, all four rooms are dug out now, as you could see in the time lapse. And I thought let's quickly show you how these rooms are gonna work. So, at first, I got a piston right at the spot where the Navarag is. And this will just push down the silverfish blocks exactly to this level here, where I'm gonna have some pistons just like this. Oh, and I fell down. Let me quickly get up there again. Then behind the pistons 
I'm going to have stone slabs. Well, any sort of building blocks. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use stone slabs for now. I might even consider changing them with something else later on. Then, well, redstone there. Another block here with a redstone torch on the side of it, and a sticky piston on top. And well, again, redstone torch right there. Over here, block with a piston next to it, and another stone, uh, another block. Here, I'm going to have a repeater, and this is this needs to be a full block on top of there. And this should work now. Let's quickly test this. Oh, all right. Forgot a redstone dust over there. But now, works. Everything gets pushed over. Okay, so I can get get rid of that block of of the blocks there. Next thing is going to be the detection when there's a block over there. So. How this works is I want well how to do this now. Um well I can go right there. I want two slabs like this. Redstone on top of one and a lever on top of the other one. And I have to activate this lever. So this redstone dust is gonna power this block there now. And well, on top of this piston, I want an upside uh, upside down slab with a repeater on top, set to two ticks delay, which powers a block here. And on top of this block, I'm gonna have redstone dust. And as you can see, this thing already works. So this should work now, and it does. Next thing, I'm gonna place a block here with redstone on top, and another block here. And here, and this is going to gonna be a redstone repeater, and well, some more redstone over there, and I just need a furnace now, because furnace can't be pushed by pistons, just like obsidian, but they're a bit cheaper and easier to well get rid of. So I'm gonna place this over here, so the blocks can't go further than to this block. And now let's test this. Yeah, and it works, as you can see. And as you can see, this as, uh, at first this piston fires, then this one, and then this one. So let's let's say, yeah, let's say here I got a piston over here. Oh, right. So this this will block the. Never rack over here, so it can't go further. And then, as you can see, this piston will fire and push everything into that direction. So, this way, I can have it that all blocks in this 13 by 13 rooms can be filled up with silverfish blocks, and that's gonna be useful. And that's it for this room. And I'm just gonna continue the same thing for all the other rooms, and we'll see you again. Okay, all the rooms are done, but for some reason, this room over here. Um, even though it's exactly the same as the other rooms, it doesn't work. Well, I just tried a bit with the repeater down here. But, as you can see, it doesn't want to work. The piston down here extends just before this one on top here. And, well, timing-wise, this is a two ticks delay, and that's actually all there is to it. I mean, that one is at one ticks delay, but it doesn't matter because it's the other piston. And, for example, over here got it exactly the same but here it works or well in the other uh, two rooms it works too just fine so as you can see works and it's exactly the same I mean there is really nothing to this room it's pretty easy built and well <laughs> over here it works too so it seems like I have to change it over there for some reason Maybe it has to do something with the hash size or so. I don't know because technically it should work. That seems like just an another example for the inconsistency of redstone in Minecraft. And I guess 
I already got an idea what I could do. And that would be something like the following. Just over here, redstone dust. I'm gonna have a repeater here to one tick delay, so this actually fires just before this one down here. And then I'm gonna have just a second repeater, uh, repeater. Stone slab here, and I'll set this to. Well, actually, let's try it first. And if we lock it now. How do I want to lock it? Yeah, over there. Seems to be a good place. Okay, what will happen now? Yeah, okay, this works. So, this is a way to fix this issue, it seems like. And I guess that's it for this. So, see you in a moment. Okay, guys, I guess this video is getting pretty long now. Well, mainly because of me failing with at the wither fight at the beginning. Hope you're not too mad, but I think we achieved quite a lot here with the four silverfish rooms I dug out and well, as you can see in, in the background, the piston pushers to well, store them in here. Next part would be to move them over here so we can actually store them because at the moment the silverfish blocks get produced but they well, remain at the spawner. And that's it and that's probably one thing we could do next episode and maybe the aesthetic part of this rooms of the rooms here so make them look a bit nicer but that that's actually all for this episode thanks for watching guys like if you did and of course see you next time guys bye bye